the landfills around Delhi and Mumbai. Mumbai had a big landfill fire, I think, two years ago, uh, which had everybody choking for a, a, a length of time. So unscientific, unscientific, there's things called scientific landfills. Unscientific landfills uh, emit dangerous gases and catch fire. Uh, that's just one. The air pollution is worsened by bad waste management. That's just one aspect. And of course, with open defecation and the relationship to stunting, it's about babies having internal parasites and the parasites competing for nutrition with the child's body. And that's what leads to stunting. That affects, apparently, the wealthy in the countryside almost as much as the, uh, the poor in the countryside. So it's a kind of, you know, the flies aren't reading the bank statements when they land on the food uh, in the kitchen or that's been put out, put out to waste, uh, or put out to uh, eat or cool. The, uh, so this public health question, I, I think, is one that has the potential to unite people if it were more widely understood, that we all have an interest in keeping a cleaner environment around the house. But to make that pervasive in rural areas, I think, is much more difficult. The, in the, the life expectancy in the slums in Mumbai must be terribly low. I noticed that you, you mentioned 55. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. But in, in my experience, it was lower. It's lower still. And, and, yeah. and, and the, you know, the people who were doing that work, they kept a tally of who was going to be the next to die. And it was routine for people mm. to die of pernicious lung infections or gangrene at you know, age 20, age 25. Um, and it was, again, it was like, you know, this, there's this idea that people who do that work are oblivious to it. They don't care. They are painfully, painfully aware that they're shortening their lives by doing this. When David Chase uh, wrote, conceived of The Sopranos, it wasn't an accident that Tony Soprano was in the waste management business. It's a, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's mobbed up around the world. And for the people in a community like Anawadi, they were... They understood that, that their lives would be at risk if they tried to move on garbage that might be sought after by these companies that, it, you know, at the hotels, for instance, the companies paid under the table money to the hotels to get the contracts to um, haul away the garbage. And, and you simply understood your city to be places where there were, there were it was, their mental maps were full of red lines. You cannot go to this place because it's controlled. So the people who worked had to go off and further and further afield to find uh, places to collect garbage that weren't already claimed by the people who dominated the field. And that, you know, again, it was a, you know, it was a, it was a corruption-driven economy, payoffs and private agreements that they had no hope.